Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Machine Builder, and today I have a new tutorial for you. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create these wonderful cows out there that you can see. I can go ahead and run on out to them. You can see over here, these cows. But that's not all. Hopefully, by following through this video, you'll learn how to create whatever custom mob you want for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. If you'd like to request tutorials for me to make, then make sure to join my Discord server. Link is in the description below. Before we begin, according to YouTube statistics, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider subbing, because it's free and you can always change your mind later. Enjoy the video. And before we jump right into all the programming, if you get stuck at any part during this video, and are struggling to figure something out or just need further clarification, feel free to join the Bedrock Addons Discord server. The link is in the description, and then just ask around in that server. Okay, so first things first, you'll need a basic behavior pack setup. I'll not be showing you how to create a manifest in this video since I'm only going to be going over custom mobs, but if you need a basic pack, then you can go ahead and download the vanilla behavior pack from the description. And then in your pack, you'll need an entities folder. So this one, empty, just make sure it's called entities. And then in your entities folder, this is where you create a new file. So I'm going to be calling mine cow underscore golden dot json because that is the file or the name of the entity that we want. So I'm just going to call it that and then open it up in a text editor. You can use any text editor, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. And to start off with this entity, I'm just going to go ahead and paste in the default vanilla cows code. So this is the vanilla cow from Minecraft. You can go ahead and download this from the pack in the description again. And then identifier for this will be the identifier of our cow. So this bit here is the namespace and usually you want to keep that short. So I'll be setting mine as MBYT for Machine Builder YouTube. Just something short to define this. And then for this, I'm gonna call it cow underscore golden, because that is the name of the entity that we named the file. And then these can stay the same. This can all stay the same. This is fine. And then the loot table, I'm gonna change this to my own one. So I'm gonna call this cow underscore golden dot JSON, and we'll create this loot table file in a second. And now if we head on back to the behavior pack and go back to the main folder and create a new folder, call this one loot tables, like so, in here. We'll create a new folder called entities and then in this folder this is where we can create that loot table file so i'll call this cow underscore golden dot json and then again open it up in a text editor okay so in your loot table file i'm just going to go ahead and paste in the vanilla cow as a loot table so this is directly taken from the vanilla behavior pack which you can go ahead and download in the description and then i'm going to remove this because we don't want our item to have a furnace smelt ability so just delete that and then the item will be minecraft gold underscore ingot. I want it to drop between 1 and 2. And I want it to also drop between 0 and 1 extra when you have a looting enchant. And then I'm going to leave the leather here because I still want the entity to drop leather. So now when it's killed, it should drop between 0 and 2 leather and 1 and 2 gold ingots. And that should be all for the loot table file. And then finally, once you finish your loot table, if you want this cow to spawn naturally in the world, you're going to need to create a new folder in your behavior pack and call this spawn rules and then in here i'm going to create another file called cow underscore golden dot json again and then here it is open it up and then in this spawn rules file this is where we're going to set up how the cow actually spawns so just setting up a basic spawn rules file we need this description identifier for the animal which is called mbyt golden or cow underscore golden and then we'll have a population control of animal because I want it to be the same as cows. And then conditions for spawning will be spawns on surface right here. And then spawns on block filter should be Minecraft grass. And then a brightness filter so they can't spawn in the dark. So minimum should be seven because that's when monsters start spawning at that light level. And then maximum will be 15, which is the maximum light level. And then that should just be false. So that animals can still spawn in the rain. And now we need a Minecraft weight, which defines how commonly they will spawn. So I'm going to set this to about 6. And then we want them to spawn in herds. So I'm going to set that up like so by using this with a minimum size of 2 and a maximum size of 3. So when they spawn, they'll spawn in groups of two or three. And then finally, we just need a biome filter. And then we can do this. Oh, there we go. Biome filter. And then I'm going to test 
if the biom has a biom tag, operator should be equal to and value of animal. So any biome with a tag of animal will be able to spawn this mob. Now that we've got all the behaviors out of the way, we can go ahead and start work on the resource side of things. So here's my basically empty resource pack. And again, if you want to grab the vanilla resource pack or behavior pack, both are linked below in the description. And so first things first, we need an entity folder. I've already got mine here, but make sure you've got yours set up too. And now open up this folder and create a new file in here. I'll be calling mine cow underscore golden dot entity dot json and then open up this in a text editor again and now in here we can set up a format version and this should be 1.10.0 because that's the format version we'll be using you don't really need to worry about that just make sure it's the same and then description in here we have an identifier which should be mbyt cow underscore golden same thing you've used for every other identifier and then in here i'm going to set up materials and just use a default of cow and I'm just writing up a little simple basic cow file. So in textures, we want a default texture of textures forward slash entity forward slash cow underscore golden. Because that's what we'll name our image file for the texture of this mob. And then geometry. Luckily, there's already a default geometry in the vanilla files, so we don't need to worry about making our own. So that is called geometry.cow. And then here we have animations. So we need our setup animation animation.cow.setup.v1.0 These are just the same animations that vanilla cows use, so I'm basically just reusing them. Okay, there we go, so there's the animation setup. And now we need scripts, animate, there we go. And then here we're going to animate the setup and the walk when query.modified move speed is above zero. And then we need to animate the look at target. So this is all just the same thing that default cows use from vanilla Minecraft. Baby transform should only run when query dot is baby is true. So we go. That's all the script stuff. And then another thing we need is render controllers because without these, your entity will be invisible, and that's never fun. So controller dot render dot cow again default render controller for cows. And then we need our spawn egg. And I'm going to set the base color here. So this allows you to pick an RGB color. So if you go online and search up RGB color picker, there'll be one in Google. So you can just go ahead and edit that. I'm just going to pick mine in here. So I'm going to set this to a gold. That's probably good enough for the base color. Should probably be a darker one. And then we need an overlay color. And this should be the same sort of system. So I'll just set this to a lighter. Oh, that's the wrong one. This one should be a lighter gold because this is the spots on the entity. Or actually, it should be a darker one. For some reason, it seems to be adjusting that value. Anyway, so yeah, that's all you need for this. So that's the whole resource file set up. And next thing we'll need is a texture for this. So over here, I'm going to create a new folder in the resource pack and call it textures. And then in here, we need a new folder called entity. And then in here is where we'll put our texture. And I'm just grabbing that from the vanilla resource pack, which you can download in the description. So here is our texture, and I'm just going to open it up in paint.net to edit it quickly. And since this isn't a texture editing video, I won't show you how to edit the texture, but I'll just quickly do it so that I at least have a unique texture for this entity. So it's obvious it's not a normal cow. There we are, and now I can save the texture as cow and close that and then I'm going to rename this to cow underscore golden so over here you can see textures entity cow underscore golden so that has to be the same as this file name and then another thing we need is sounds for our entity so I'm going to create a new file in the resource pack called sounds.json and in here we need our entity sounds and then here we have entities which is a dictionary entities and then here we have mbyt cow underscore golden because that's the name of our entity including the identifier you need to make sure this is correct otherwise your entity won't have any sounds so in here we have events and we have ambient which should just be mob.cow.say because this is all the vanilla cow sounds and then mob.cow.hurt 
pull the death sound effect, and then hurt sound effect is the same as this. And then the step sound effect is the cow sound, so that will be this. I'm just basing this directly off the vanilla file, so if you want to either download that from the vanilla resource pack, you can, or you can copy along and rewrite it out like so. And then finally we need a volume, 0 0.65, and then a pitch of 0 0.8 to 1.2 and then a volume of one. All right, so that should be all for the sound files. Now our entity should be able to have sounds in game and it should sound like a normal cow. And then one more final thing to do is create a file that references the name of the cow. So that in game, the cow will actually have a name and not be called an identifier. So in here, we need a text folder. So in your resource pack, text folder, and in here, n underscore us dot lang file. So we can go ahead and open this up in any text editor again. So in here we'll need entity.mbyt colon cow underscore golden dot name and this should be golden cow because that's what we want it to be called in the game. And then we need the name for the spawn egg, so item dot spawn egg dot and then this should be equal to spawn golden cow. There we go. That should be the lang file setup. And now that should be all. So if we jump on into our world with the resource pack and behavior pack applied. So when we're in the world, we can open up the inventory and go to spawn eggs and we should see our new spawn egg in here, somewhere around here. And if we use it, we should be able to spawn in our new cow mob. And you can hear, it sounds like a cow. If it just speaks, or I can do this, there we go. Oh, well you can hear, it sounds like a cow. That means our sound files worked. And then finally, we can test to see if the loot table worked. So if I just go ahead and kill it here, you can see drops gold ingots and drops leather. And if I were to test this again, we should get two gold ingots, maybe. If we're lucky, we did, there we go. So now we have three in total. So you can see that everything we just did worked perfectly and the cow is now in game. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of my tutorials, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Hope this tutorial has been helpful to you and I can't wait to see all your cool new creations. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.